No one struggled more than Evan Mobley in game one for the Cavaliers. And let's just take a look and see how that happened. And you can see him running the high pick and roll. You're going to get Darius Garland spacing out to the right corner. And then you have Brunson on the Okoro matchup. And there's the space that Mobley is going to roll into with Randall up high. So that pocket pass is going to be there. And then now watch what the Knicks do. You're going to get Brunson sort of make his way into the paint because Allen at the dunker spot. He's not worried about Okoro. And then you have Mobley Right in that area where he's a below average shooter, only 40% on the year, a shot the Knicks are going to be more than happy to give up. And then keep an eye on RJ. He is not moving from that Garland assignment in the right corner. And then Okoro is going to cut to the basket, so that's pretty much taking that pass away. So Mobley has one attempt that's going through the chest of Mitchell Robinson. That's a tough make. He's going to miss it. And then watch Julius. Watch his physicality as Allen is in position for the offensive rebound, but great job by Julius to get into his body, move him out of the way, and secure a tough contested rebound good physicality by Randall and then here's another top high pick and roll again Mobley is going to be your screen setter Randall up top Mobley rolls into space he's going to turn down that shot again and then he's going to also going to miss that Osman pass on the left wing that he could have hit he's going to go right into the chest of Mitch who's going to be physical and make that shot very tough and the Knicks are ultimately going to secure that offensive rebound good work and then here you get a Garland cross screen that Hartenstein goes through rather easily so once Mobley gets this ball they're going to flow right into a DHO and then as Mobley gets his ball on the low post you can see how the strength advantage that Hartenstein has is a big advantage. Mobley doesn't move him, and then he's going to go right into his right shoulder turn. And you can just see by where his legs are on this finish, where they're splayed out, that is a pretty clear indication that that shot is completely off balance, and that is in part due to the lack of strength. And then... On this defensive play, really want to highlight R.J. Barrett here. They're going to switch this pick and roll. So he's got the Mitchell assignment on that switch. He's got his left hand up, deterring the pass, goes under one screen, and then watch how he uses his physicality, his hands. This is what you can get away with in the playoffs to sort of muddy up that action by Mitchell. And then you're going to get another screen, and just look at the body position by R.J., He's going to take away all the airspace. The Knicks will get two on the ball. Hart is in great position to take away that short roll by Allen. So the Cavaliers are going to have to resort to this Mobley post-up against Julius Randle, which is a big advantage for the Knicks. Evan Mobley has been inefficient all season long on post-ups. And because he's not able to move Randle at all, it's a tough left shoulder turn that is a very inefficient shot. One, the Knicks are more than happy to give up.